Welcome Cloud Gamers to another Stadia news video. And with the influx of new gamers on the platform, Stadia has continued its business as usual approach by launching features that have been much needed. But the biggest news of this video will be something that has been uncovered in regards to how many games are coming to the platform. And well, it's a pretty big number. Not only that, we will cover those features that have rolled out as well as some updated information on family sharing. So with all that said, let's get into this video. Like always, if you can smash the like button, I'd appreciate it. Sub to the channel for more Stadia coverage, as well as consider becoming a Patreon or member on YouTube for exclusive perks like a sweet badge next to your name. Ooh, the links will be down below. But some interesting information from an article came out from Nasdaq.com talking about cloud gaming. Now, the initial article mentions two things that stood out. It says here, per a report from Markets and Markets, the global cloud gaming market is expected to make some waves in the coming five years. Now I'm completely out of my element trying to break down this stuff, but what I'm seeing here is cloud gaming is projected to be pretty big in the future. But the nugget from this article that I personally honed in on was Google is developing 450 games currently, which will be released on Stadia this year and beyond. Now, when I first saw that, I was thrown off in a few ways. Officially, it's been stated that this year in 2020 is projected for 120 games to be launched this year. And at the moment, after doing some digging around, I counted under 15 games that have been launched, meaning we still have over 100 games on the way. Ironically, with very few launch dates coming up in the next two months, with none in May, at least at the time of this video. I fully expect to hear more dates soon on more games, but what really threw me off is the wording, specifically where it mentions in the article that Google is developing the games, which isn't true, as it's not Google themselves, but other developers. Now at first I thought maybe this was a big typo of some kind, and maybe they meant 150, but going further down the rabbit hole, an article from November 2019 that I guess a lot of us just didn't see as a direct quote from Phil Harrison stating, we have over 450 games in development right now that will be coming out in 2020 and beyond. Interestingly enough, we know of 120 games, so that would mean over 300 games or more are projected, probably within the next couple of years, which sounds amazing. Now this was back in November, and we don't know if anything has changed. But recently, back in early March, Stadia launched Stadia Makers, an easier way for indie devs to not only develop games for Stadia, but even get a monetary boost to help offset some developmental costs to bring their titles over. So it's not out of the realm to think that this is true, because I keep mentioning that this platform, technically speaking, will be more accessible as more rollouts to more devices continue to happen, as everyone will have a phone or tablet to play Stadia games on. So if I'm a third-party developer or an indie developer, I can definitely see the appeal to bring your games over. So this was cool news and welcomed, and I'll continue to track this in the coming months and years. But moving on, the Stadia team announced some days ago that new features have been rolled out, including 5.1 surround sound on the web, an on-screen keyboard, and mobile connection notifications. 5.1 surround sound on the browser is something that I personally have been waiting for, as the majority of my gaming actually takes place through the Canary Chrome browser. The on-screen keyboard, though, remains an actual mystery, as I have yet to figure out how to get that to work, and well, I haven't been the only one, so let me know in the comments if anyone has had any luck. And the notifications for your connection quality is a nice bonus to the user experience and gets no complaints from me. Bigger picture is these were features that I think the Stadia team wanted done before launching to 14 countries, so they are just now getting it done, but I'm glad the team is hard at work, continuing to improve the service, and hope to see more features as they are getting quite a few of these rollouts on a monthly basis, and I expect to see some of the bigger missing ones here soon. And the last piece of news is an update to one of the top requested features that has yet to be seen, and that is family sharing. I know a lot of you ask me, when do you think this will be rolled out? 
And while there's only been a few tidbits like some uncovered APK insights mentioning that Google is indeed working on the code, a user on Twitter asked, when can we see a library sharing with the family? To which the official Stadia handle mentions no specific date, but that it plans to enable family sharing this year and trying to get it out as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, while no official date has yet to be given, and one-third of the year has already gone by, hopefully we get this feature rolled out soon, as I personally will be taking full advantage of it myself. So the absolute second this feature gets more mentions from Google, I will let you guys know here on the channel. But with all these games potentially coming in the years ahead, and with over 100 games and many requested features still to be rolled out, I'm pretty excited for the future of Stadia, even in just 2020. And if I'm being honest, all my gaming is done on this service, and I'm having a blast, and well, we're just getting started. So like always, I will keep you guys up to date on Stadia news, games, and coverage of all Stadia-related items, as well as other cloud platforms when news of those break. So please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the 450 games, family sharing, and what features are you most hoping to see going forward. Also, please smash that like button as it helps me out so much. I'm Sunny, and like always, I'll catch you guys in the clouds.